the shin box bridge flow builds on the previous shin box uh, regressions that we've probably already worked on if I'm assigning this drill to you. Our focus here is to piece things all together to get a little bit of variability in how we're moving through our hips, but then also to, to focus on piecing together how we stabilize the knee with our peroneals, how we stabilize the hip and eccentrically load our hip rotators as we sit back into the position. And then also as we bridge, making sure that we can efficiently put all of those pieces together. Big thing here is we want to focus on trying to drive most of the movement through the actual hip joints. So we need to again have stiffness of the lower leg by engaging the flow with our peroneals. We also need to be bracing properly through our pelvis and through our rib cage to encourage better movement through the hip joints.